Hello and welcome to Tax TV, Neil, as you know, and Andy as well from Inverec Corner. Andy, great to have you on again, mate. Hi, mate. Been a bit of a week. Uh, start well, ended last week, and we, you know, uh, probably one of the worst performances of the season we've seen for a bit. Probably on par with Wickham. Um, and again, going into the Doncaster Rovers game, we where I saw you, Andy, as well, mate. So, yeah, what were you tech on extra game? You know, what are you, just a bad day at office, you know, things weren't, you know, just weren't happening, were it? it no, it, I thought it felt like a weird atmosphere anyway against mm. Exeter to game. Um, I don't know if that was just me because I, I dashed straight from work to Grand. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was just weird anyway. Yeah, I, I thought it was a bit more quieter than usual uh, mm. against Exeter, but they were not shot about really, were they? It was, it was awful. Um, definitely, well, I think uh, worst game under Duff so mm. far. That awful. Mm. Can't think of any positives to, uh, to take out in it, except we, I think we did well to keep it down to two when we were playing. Yeah, I mean Duff went on record to say after because I I did a video day after. I thought I can't do it on day like because you know your thoughts and proper thing, and then when you. You, you look back and you take stuff into account and like Duff, what he alluded to with what happened to Luke Thomas, some, you know, some of the players witnessed it kind of thing and were a bad break. Yeah. But Benny also didn't use that as an excuse and refreshing for me to refreshing for me to hear and see what well, Duff came out and said, we're a million of miles away from it, we want it races, no work, no pressing. So for me, that was refreshing to know that we've got a gaff of here, you know, who was going to call it as it is. Yes. Yeah. And like he said, he said he can understand why it was quiet in stand because it was, it was like quiet on pitch. So it's it like, like we're hand in hand, isn't it? Really, when you think about it. Yeah, um, yeah, it came as a shock when uh, I heard about Thomas, and mm. without a doubt, I think we missed him at team. Um, mm. It we just like that energy, didn't we? That he fetches. Um, but yeah, good to hear Duff uh, be honest about it. Um, Maddie will tell you, won't it? Uh, <laughs> Phrases, uh, phrases that I hate when a manager um, comes out when we played well, or any team really, uh, is the, the term gelling. I, I hate that yeah. term, and I'm glad he's not used that. Because, um, no, I, I, I hate that term. Um, I, I just think that's a, a, an easy excuse for managers. But, uh, yeah, so good to uh, even be honest about it. And, yeah, it, it will have... Uh, affected players. Uh, it, I mean, it won't even in a game, might right, when training. Um, so, yeah, yeah. It's last place you expect them to pick on uh, pick up an injury like that at that extent. Yeah, I mean, for no other players around it. Well, I've been reading, been uh, listening to. Apparently, we're going in back post for a, you know, to knock it in back and his legs going right. underneath and kind of thing. So, it was an unfortunate free one, but yeah, you know, unfortunate for lad and you know. You can say unfortunate for a club, but more importantly for Lad because he just come yeah. back. He was yeah. t- he's cementing back one. And it was good to see as well. On Tuesday, I believe, he had his operation and it was pictures on social media. Operation looks like it's gone well. So, good. Uh, all, all being well, it's a, a good speed recovery, but a safe one as well for kid. And we see him in a rest shirt soon, Andy. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. Uh, going on to Tuesday then, I mean, I saw you there with, with your daughter, I was there with my son, but a fair few I saw in, in, in stands as well. Um, I think we kind of knew there were going to be a few changes um, yeah. in, inside. It was refreshing to see for me as well, a few a few people who I thought, should, you know, knocking on the door like now, nah, is in Jallo, Martin, I thought he had a good game, Luke, uh, Luke O'Connell, going back from injury, having like a yeah. full 90 so what we take on that? I mean, four and out up at half time and all, wasn't it? You know, yeah, uh, job but done, wasn't it? Um, at uh, half time and yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pleased for youngins. Uh, always good to see youngins coming through. Um, my personal opinion on it is, um, I don't like to see youngins being rushed. Uh, yeah. I know there were a few uh, fans around me wanting them to be involved um, in game uh, tomorrow, but mm-hmm. not for me. We're gonna, yeah, think. we're going to come on to that a bit later, like, yeah, because yeah. yeah, I would have been thoughts about that. It's, I, I mean, 
actually in one of my um, videos on my channel the other day, I don't know if I'm old fashioned like, but uh, I don't like to see him being rushed. I don't think it does him any good. There's um, talent there, isn't there? And it just needs to be nurtured. Oh, yeah, with, with, yeah. Without, a, without a doubt. Um, but I don't know, it just it, it felt like an under-21s game mm. to me, rather than a competitive cup match. If... Do you think that was because... Oh, I can have word it uh, respectful. Do you think it, it was we were going away? We made it more in an atmosphere than Doncaster did. Yeah, um, we're just going to say we it more, aren't we? Yeah, we're just going to say it's it's weird when there were more Barnsley fans at their mm. <laughs> ground. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to me, it just it end that vibe about it like under twenty ones um, fixture really. Um, but yeah, all credit uh, where it's due. I thought we played. Uh, well, it first day, and uh, I think, like I said, I think job were done. It's second day, and uh, we, we were all just playing it out, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm glad for youngins, but uh, I, I personally hope that we, we don't uh, we don't rush them. I said keep them as they are, mm. steadily mm. fetch them along. Um, you want to make Papa John's uh, games? Uh, that's fine, but uh, yeah, uh, not for me to try and rush them now. Yeah. I'm just going to quantify extra game and what I what I saw about that we uh, sorry extra game uh, both Doncaster game and both oh, game coming up yeah yeah but that Doncaster game for me was for me it was more of a and I said it before it's like a knocking on door at manager and saying look I'm still here I can do a yeah. job because I were hoping and praying that Teddy should score that penalty for it confidence that lad because yeah. the frustrating thing about it for me. He's got it in his locker, and I think if he gets odd goal here or there, I can just see him like momentum. But frustrating thing for me in second half for Teddy was well, when he was against his compositions when we were like tacking to Ireland, is the amount of times we're trying to have a play at ball. I'm thinking, yeah, just have a shoot at goal, just have a ever go. He might take a, a nick or whatever, just have a pop, yeah. and it could be something like that. And it's not a negative, but it's just like I just want the lad to do well so much. Because I just I think there is a, a player there, and I I, I get we we mean with Jallo and you know Lancaster another good game Danny Benson yeah. at back yeah there's, there's talent there and I get we people are like wanting Jallo and uh, that to get more involved in this team but I look at it as well is that you don't want to burn them out I mean you look at no. United Marsh going out on loan Akron exactly. going out on loan so again there's there's progression there. And it's pleasing to see that they're improving. And whilst they're improving under Patterson and Devaney, because obviously they're involved in uh, under-23 set up with, with Duff, it's a good little uh, trio of here of people what can all discuss about players. And I think sometimes as fans, we all want, oh, yeah, get straight in and local lad come good in dire and stuff like that. I wanted to be ripping up trees, but what I don't want for lad is to... Come into it, ever not a, a not be in game and knock his confidence down a bit. Yeah. I want to come into it. You know what I mean? It's it, it's still a big leap from um, starting at Papa John's, and all due respect to Donny, they well, were uh, awful. Saying that, then uh, Andy, and we'll uh, we'll lead it into that. Yeah, would you would you ever be involved in the first team? Squad, say, is in the on coach to go away to get that bit of a vibe and bit of a atmosphere, you know, what it's about. Um, not necessarily get on bench, but if it's a tech squad of like 18 or yeah. like that, not, not necessarily get a game, but the the in and around the build up to a big game potentially, like against Bolton. I'd, I'd say, like, put if you if you have Jello on like set subs bench, not necessarily going to get a game. But he understand what it's about from the step up. Like you said, via Papa John's, it was like a, a pre-season kind of game, wasn't it? If there's... How can I put it? Um, if there's no injuries, um, then no, I don't think they should. Uh, if there is injuries, and so like at latter end of the season where we've got no to play for, which I hope we have, then yeah, um, I can't see a problem with that. But... Uh, I, I'd still keep them ticking off as they are doing at minute. The, the young, they've got they've got loads and loads of time to um, get into the first team. Oh, yeah. um, 
but yeah, I think rushing them, um, I, I don't think it's way. Uh, I, I know a lot of people uh, say if you're good enough, then you're old enough. And I know when I've mentioned this before, some say like, well, Rooney started when he was young, but again, all due respect to players who was at our club, uh, Rooney had some better calibre of players around when he first started. Mm. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't know, I might be old school, but I, I'd, I'd just keep him as the army um, and keep him in development uh, side. And I think it'd do him a world of good as well if they went out on loan like Ackroyd's done and Marsh. Mm. Um, I honestly do, and I think they'll come back a, a better player. Um, but I, I still think it's a big jump up from, like I say, Papa John's game to first team. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we might be up bench tomorrow. We, we, we don't know, do we? Um, but I don't know. It's just my opinion, really. No, it's, it's what it's all about, yeah. my opinions. I mean, I think such as like Duff, I think he understands more about the club now than yeah. as other two PE teachers did because no disrespect to players, I'm not singling anybody out in particular, but you look at such as Moon, Marsh, Ackroyd, he's willing to either include him for his team or not at this moment in time. He wants him to get either up to speed or more game time. And last season, we'd have been starting from start because we had no other option, to be fair. I think yeah. we've got a slightly, not We've got a slightly stronger team stroke squad in certain areas, but still lacking in others, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I think that'll be, and like we said before, it's going to take Doug probably two, maybe three transfer wins before he gets his settled side. Yeah. So going into a Bolton game, for me, what's pleasing to see kind of coming on from that is Luke Connell got 90 minutes. Um, he got his standing ovation when he come down for a corner and, he, you know, yeah. he appreciated it and get same back. I think this is going to be, I think it'll be a bit of an emotional game for Luca Connell as well because he's going back to where he started his career as well. But I think it's also one, I'd, I'd be starting him personally. Um, I think it's one of it. I think he'll relish in and he'll be up for. Um, how do you see Bolton game? Well, in, in fact, how do you see lineup would you you know change this kind of thing for for game uh, against Bolton Andy um I'd like to see some changes what started against Exeter yeah mm -hmm. definitely because mm -hmm. I don't think uh, that team warrants uh, to be unchanged um I'd definitely uh, start Edwards if he's fit, uh, fit and ready I've said that um, yeah, I've said that um yeah, I, I'm I think Collins that, is going to come straight in at number one again, isn't he? Yeah. It is going to go straight there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I'm hoping there is changes. And I'm hoping there's a response as well from Exeter game. Because, like I said, that, that's that will, looking for. It, it will just die of that. Mm. We never got out of first gear, did we? So. No. I'm thinking I'd go, obviously, Collins. But then again, yeah. I think Collins, I think since he's took that knock, he's... His confidence is slightly altered a bit. Yeah, it has. I um, think that as well. Of like coming out and that, a bit apprehensive. And I don't think Walton did it out wrong when, you know, when he covered for him in first team. But yeah. I think we all kind of know he's going to be in. So for me, I'd go Edwards at right wing back. I'd give yeah. uh, Williams a rest. I think your back three is going to most sort it. Senna, Anderson, Kundi and Kitchen. Basically, there's no Conor McCarthy is out until the end of the season. Yeah. Left wing back. This is the thing for me. I think he's going to put Cadden in, but I would like to see Loresh have a go because I, I think will, Cadden is getting too far forward and not getting yeah. back in that position again. I was just going to say that. I, I, I'd, I'd try him as well at Lakasha, whatever you yeah, pronounce Lareche, it. Yeah. Yeah. Midfield, I'd go Connell, Luca Connell. I'd go Josh Benson. Yeah. And a good Josh Martin in place of Tom, uh, Luke Thomas up front. He's got a couple of goals against Donny. I know a lot of people said we don't really rate him and that, but there's some Norwich fans and Donny fans who had him on loan and they said there's a player there that's needed to get a chance. And I'm thinking he's got a couple of goals there, confidence up. I'd rest her became because I don't think he'll really. He's not only one, by the way, against XT. He won't in game whatsoever. Yeah. But for me, I think Luke Connell will be up for it. I think Josh Benson, it'll be. In and about box, 
And I think Josh Martin will be trying to link up and up front. Devante Cole has scored a couple of goals. I'm just hoping it, it can go for him. And I get a, a bit of thought. I'm going with Aitchison. I just mm-hmm. think with his being away, he might have a bit more pace to stretch from at back rather than Norwood. Yeah, Norwood's a different player, isn't he? He's a different mm-hmm. type of player. Um, yeah, I'd I, I, I go along with that, yeah. Um, and yeah. for bench, he could take your pick. You could have, you know, Phillips, Williams, you know, Herbie Kane, Tedic, or whatever on bench kind of thing. But I, I am looking at it is that it needs it needs to change. And like what you said, Andy, I think apart from result, which are all what wanted to win, we'll get on to that in a minute. I think not just us as fans, but I think Gaffer is sending looking for a response from Exeter game, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you think that we'd be going via way in intent to say, look, this is what we can do, and sh- we know we well, can do it. We know we're great at locker. It's just doing it, isn't it? Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, I would hope so. I mean, um, I think they lost um other weekend as well, didn't oh, they? Did, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bolton. So yeah. you know they'll be a bit on and down as well. Um. Yeah, I can't see any reason why we can't go there and uh, you know try and put things right. It's going to be tough though. Mm. Uh, uh, what are they six, seven thick leagues, something like that? Um, yeah. When you look at points situation, it's literally no to date. It's a few points here and there, isn't it? So yeah, uh, so yeah, it's going to be a tough test uh, without a doubt. But um, yeah, I can't see any reason why you know we, we can't go there and uh, play football, which we seem to do away at minute rather mm. than at home uh, for some reason. But uh, yeah, I can't see any reason why we can't go there and uh, game a game. School prediction. Um, what's your head saying and what's your heart saying? <laughs> <coughs> me, me heart always says we're going to win. Uh, yeah. So me, me heart says going to win two 0 but me head saying one one. Oh, I'm not far off then. My <laughs> heart saying two one Barnsley. Yeah. But me head, me head saying two two. Um, right. I think basically just because. Uh, we 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 are we are Bolton are, you know we come they had a bad result we've had a bad result performance so I think we both both camps were looking for some kind of improvement yeah um, and again always going to want to balance a win we always do but it, it's going to be it's going to be a tough one it, yeah. it's going to be a tough one it's a decent you know it's a decent trip it's a decent team we're playing against and ground and that stadium but. I'm going two two Barnsley. I'm going two two, and you're going one one. So yeah, and to be fair, it's not a bad result. But you know, I don't think it'd be a bad result. That no, I'd take a draw. Um, Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could go. I'd like to have gone to Mama, but working till two. So you know, work commitments. But uh, yeah, I'd like to have gone to uh, to Bolton. Uh, One at games I wanted to watch, but yeah, with shifts and stuff, can't get there. Didn't always work. Uh, Bolton Munders versus Barnsley. Have you sent comments below? Um, you know, let me know your thoughts about school prediction. Let us know, you know, do you agree with team line up? Would, would there be any players that you'd like to see in or out? It's always uh, about opinions and that. It'd be interesting to get people's thoughts. Andy, as always, it's been a pleasure in the red corner. Welcome. Um, good content, good debate. Uh, get you back on soon, mate. Yeah, thank you. Not a problem. One thing left to say. You reds.